I was approached by the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment and asked if I'd like to um, come up with a thought for maybe offering for the scheme. And I was totally taken aback. I mean, sport is not part of my life, really. And I hadn't thought about it in terms of music at all. And they said, have you got any ideas that might resonate with the Olympics? And I thought, no. <laughs> It just suddenly popped into my head, I'd like to do something with Melanie. I've always loved her writing. She asked me in an email and I thought, oh gosh, if she wants it by Friday, I really can't do it, you know. And I emailed her back and I said, well, what's the deadline? She said, oh, oh, next May. And I said, oh yeah, I could do it though, because saying that to a journalist, that's like saying never, you know. So. After I came out of hospital, Sally came up and we spent an afternoon together. And I'd never done anything like this before, so I didn't really know where to start. I, I, I suppose my fear was that I wanted her to write, that she, she wanted me to write in very, a very poetic, lyrical way. Um, and I'm a journalist, I'm not a poet. She reassured me on that. She said she just wanted me to express some of the humour and the pain and the sorrow and to try and distill some of the essence of what I'd been through. So she went away and she wrote a piece f for me, which I found intensely moving the first time I read it. I, I need to talk to her some more. We need to talk about how the text is going to function in the piece because we haven't even decided. We haven't decided if we're bringing in an actor or how that's going to work. When we put in our application for the project, uh, the orchestra asked if I had a title yet. So I. I wrote to Melanie and I said, I really don't want to bother you with this because it was very last minute, but by midday it would be great if you could come up with a, a title. And she came straight back with spinal cords. And it was just so brilliant. And, you know, she said, I'm sorry, I'm a journalist. <laughs> but that in turn made me think of the function of a chord in a piece of music, the function of harmony, which is the backbone of the music. And of course, this is. This, this is now the central idea for the piece. Normally, if you're working with words as a composer, the words have to come first, uh, unless you're a singer-songwriter, in which case sometimes the melody comes first, I think, but uh, that's not my field really. So normally in so-called classical music, the words come first because it gives you something then to bounce off and to work with. I then start to think of fragments of melody, of perhaps harmonies. I think in this case, I probably will start from a, a very harmonic standpoint. Um, and then deconstruct and then put back together. So those are the kind of thoughts that happen and you get, you get closer and closer in until you focus onto the actual notes on the page. So what's happening at the moment in my head is, is some colours in the distance, if you like, that, it, that it, I'm, I'm sort of hearing and trying to catch. I just try and catch these colours and pin them down and make them work for me. It's always scary starting that blank sheet of paper. It's a bit like throwing a pot, that once you've started, it, it kind of takes on a mind of its own and, and you, know, you just have to hope that you shape it in time before it flies off in all directions. You have to keep that kind of control, but at the same time, you have to let it do its own thing. <laughs>